Hi, I'm Kevin Wright. I am the owner of Fun Insights. You can join the Fun Engagement Network at funinsights.co.uk forward slash network forward slash join. There's all sorts of stuff on there, including the Fun Engagement Hub. There's the Fun Engagement Pod. Uh, you can also listen to that via any um, reputable podcast host or provider, including Google, Apple and Acast. Something that's come across uh, my desk in the last few days, the last few weeks, is um, some of the marketing materials around restarting the game. Now, we know that's going to be happening in around September. I talk about that in a podcast on a, uh, on a video uh, that I published last week. Um, and what I'm really talking about is some of the sort of slogans and some of the things clubs are saying. And I think it's really, this is a really important part of uh, of any sense of normality returning clubs and fans have been quite you know very distanced in recent months and it's been like a very weird extended close season for most clubs even those who've had fans um who've had games to uh, to put on fans haven't been there they've had to actually manage actively discouraging fans from being at the stadium and that's a really weird thing to have to do as a club when we talk about fan engagement being absolutely fundamental to any football club or any club, indeed, you know, including other clubs, rugby league, rugby union, cricket, what have you, um, not being able to actually have fans attending a match and actually actively discouraging them is a very, very strange thing to have to do. And along with furloughing and, um, you know, reduced resources, um, there is naturally something of a dash to, to get going when it comes to, to fans being at matches again. One of the things I think that, um, slightly concerns me is there are clubs out there and it, um, there's no point talking about who they are because that wouldn't produce any um, positive result um, who have struggled with the relationship with fans and with fan representatives over a number of years and I can see that they're um, you know they want to see this as a chance to reset to some extent what I think I would warn all clubs of and certainly those ones who've had difficulties in recent months and years is think about those structural issues. Think about what's going on under the bonnet. Not just the desire to reset, which should be, you know, is admirable and important. Uh, and to talk about the oneness of clubs again and fans and all those sorts of things. It's very, very, very important. But remember that language uh, and what, what you say and what you do will be measured against each other. And that if they're found to be wanting... Um, then that will be something you will have to respond to and deal with. And it's better to deal with it now than to deal with it later.